अळूवडी Hi welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana I'm Rupa here we are going to show you one more maharashtrian dish called as aluvadi it's a very technical dish it is made from colocasia leaves it is known as alu in the state of maharashtra it is done in most of the festive occasions and uh, it's very tasty you have to steam it it's a roll and then you have to shallow fry them so it's a little elaborated procedure also let's go ahead and look at the recipe colocasia leaves besan rice flour tamarind jaggery garam masala turmeric powder cumin powder coriander powder chili powder salt oil let's take the leaf take a knife and just try and take the thick vein of it very delicately so you cut out the main vein so that it's very easy to fold and the rest of the thin veins with a rolling pin you just try and roll them out not very hard you can hear the noise which just goes as a crackling noise which means they are getting flat and it will be easy for you to roll the leaf As you can see I have rolled all the leaves the veins are all flattened out and the leaves have become nice and limp so then they are nice very easy to roll them as you see so we'll keep them aside and we'll try and make the batter let's make the batter for it let's add the gram flour in a bowl the rice flour the tamarind pulp the jaggery the garam masala turmeric cumin powder coriander powder chili powder and salt let's add water see that you don't make it into a very thin batter the batter has to be nice and thick like the cake batter we have nicely mixed this batter see that there are no lumps in it and the batter has to be this falling consistency but not free flowing it has to fall like a dumpling cake that is normally there so let's keep this aside this is a steamer it's got a perforated tray we'll place the roll on it and we'll put some water down for boiling so when you place the rolled on the perforated tray the water from down once it starts boiling we want to steam the rolls before we fry them so in this way we'll start preparing for the steaming we'll put some water and let's put it on the gas for boiling till we prepare the rolls before you put the tray into the steamer just grease it slightly so that the rolls don't stick to it to begin with rolling you take one leaf place the smooth side on the board and the rough side on the top where you'll apply the batter so we'll apply the batter onto the leaf it's done in that way see that you flow the application in one direction and you spread it evenly till the edge of the leaf the other leaf will again go the smooth side down and the rough side on the top only the direction will change if the tip of the leaf is taken the first on the top then the tip of the leaf will go below this time so we want it nicely overlapping it so this is the technique again put the batter and similarly apply it in the direction apply it 
very delicately till the edge of the leaf. Take the next leaf, again the smooth side down and this time the tip will go on the top. We have taken about three leaves as you saw, alternating the tip on the top and the tip in the bottom. Three to four leaves go in one roll depending on the size of the leaf. These are medium sized leaves so we have taken three. If they are very small then you can take even four of them. Now just tuck in the edge. Yeah, see that you just tuck in the ends from all the four sides, then from this side start rolling it. Just see that you hold it nice and tight and like a pinwheel sandwich you just roll them. See that the edges don't open up so hold the edge and just roll. So this way the roll is formed. Just see that the edges don't open up and just put it on the perforated plate. Similarly, let's do the other roll. So again tuck in the ends. And roll it very tightly. I would like to tie it with a string in case it's not very tight and you're not very sure of it staying like that while steaming. Just take a string and roll it nice and tight. See that it's not very tight so that the leaf should not tear when you're tying the string. This is not required with the batter. It stays but if you're doing it and you're not very confident just tie it put it in the perforated dish okay take the steamer now the rolls are being prepared as you saw and kept on the perforated tray of the steamer keep around two glasses of water for boiling and keep the rolls on the perforated greased plate once the water becomes warm just slip in the plate and cover it cover it once the water comes to a boil the steam will start coming out so you know that it started boiling and the steam is getting accumulated into the steamer let it go on for about 10 minutes till the rolls are nicely steamed the steamer is shut and you can see The rolls are steamed as you can see. Let's keep them on the board. Now let's cut the string that we have tied and just very delicately do it. Do not pull it. See that they are nice and cool down. I am coating it with oil so that it doesn't stick to the disc that we are cutting. This is the way they should be looking. This is the way it should be like a pinwheel as I said with the batter inside and it's already got steamed. I have cut the rolls into a nice pinwheel into thin slices. We will shallow fry them to a nice crisp which are crisp from the outside and they are soft from inside so let's take a nice shallow pan take some oil let the oil become very hot because we just want to give it the crispness from the outside they are all cooked and they are all steamed so you don't have to really cook them on the pan the oil is nice and hot so let's start Putting the arugadi. Now 
yes turn the side when it's nicely golden brown in color as you can see as i said you don't have to really cook it because they're already cooked and we just want to give it a nice crispiness from the outside simmer the glass see that they don't burn and it's nicely done on either side the nice golden color as you can see the alwadis have fried on either side to a nice golden brown color and it's turned nice and crisp from the outside and when you open them they'll be quite soft from inside which will really give a nice taste to the alwadi let's take them out on the tissue paper and serve them in the serving plate so the alwadi is a fried let's arrange them in the serving plate the alwadis are done a very technical procedure as i showed you but i'm sure once you start and get a hand on it it will be a lovely snack you can serve it at any festive time it really adds to the variety in the food that you're cooking and i'm sure the guests will love it